People often wonder if we're the only ones out here in this huge universe. We've been thinking about aliens for ages, looking at stars and wondering if other life exists way out there. Well, it turns out that it's actually true. The head of NASA just announced that the James Webb Space Telescope found something amazing. It's our best tool for seeing what's out there. Get ready for a mind-blowing announcement about life on Proxima b, a planet far, far away. This could change everything. Let's check out what the telescope found and what it means for us and for future space trips. The James Webb Space Telescope is super advanced and can totally change how we see the universe. It's in a great spot in space so scientists can check out stars, galaxies, and planets like never before, giving us a whole new view of space. It might sound like a lot, but the tech in this telescope can really do what it says. One of the coolest things about the telescope is its huge primary mirror, which is way bigger than the one on the Hubble Space Telescope that helped us for the last 30 years. This big mirror lets it catch even the weakest light from super far away, even from places other telescopes couldn't see. Now scientists can see those faraway things in detail, not just guess about them. Plus, the telescope has all sorts of new tools that can spot different types of light wavelengths. For example, the near-infrared camera and IR cam takes pictures in the near-infrared part of the light spectrum. This is great because infrared light can go through dust clouds that block regular light so we can see deeper into space. An IR cam lets us see how stars are forming in galaxies up close. These observations help us learn about the start of the universe, how galaxies were made, and find planets that other telescopes couldn't reach. The telescope's tools like NIR cam give us cool insights into the shape of the universe, showing us how galaxies form and change over time, helping us figure out what makes space the way it is. Another important tool on the telescope is the Near Infrared Spectrograph, NIR spec. It splits light from distant objects into different wavelengths. This is called spectroscopy, and it tells us a lot about the object's temperature, speed, and what it's made of. NIR spec helps scientists study stars and galaxies in depth by looking at the light they take in and give off, finding out what elements are there and understanding how things in space interact. It also helps us understand how stars and galaxies live, from when they're born to when they die. One of the telescope's main jobs is to check out galaxies that are super far away, where the light has traveled for billions of years to reach us. By looking at the light from these galaxies, we can figure out their age, what they're made of, and other important things, figuring out the secrets of how they change. The Mid-Infrared Instrument, MIRI, is another tool that helps us study longer wavelengths of infrared light, helping us check out things like stars, planets, and dusty areas where new stars are being made. MIRI also lets us look at the air around exoplanets, giving us key info about what's in them, their temperature, and if they could have life. The spots in space where stars are born are really interesting. These thick clouds of dust and gas block regular light, but infrared light can get through. Thanks to MIRI, scientists can see stars and planets being made. It lets us look at what's happening inside these nurseries. MIRI is also important for finding exoplanets because it can catch and study the weak infrared light from their air, showing us important info about their environment, like if there's water, carbon dioxide, and other stuff that could mean life. When looking for life on exoplanets, the telescope uses two main ways. Spectroscopy and checking out the air. Even if a planet doesn't have plants or oxygen, these methods are still important because not all life needs those things. Spectroscopy, or studying how light is taken in or given off by something, is key for checking out the air around exoplanets. When an exoplanet passes in front of its star, the telescope can see the starlight passing through the planet's air. This leaves behind tiny chemical marks that can be studied to find out what molecules are in the air. The telescope uses two main tools for this, MIRI, which looks at the mid-infrared part of the spectrum, and NIR spec, which looks at the near-infrared part. Together, these tools cover all the wavelengths needed for a full checkup. When starlight passes through an exoplanet's air, it contains info about what the planet is made of. The telescope looks at these signals to figure out what's in the air, finding molecules that could mean life or conditions that could support it. By finding these marks, scientists can make models to better understand the planet's air and climate. One of the telescope's main goals is to look for compounds linked to life, like oxygen, methane, and water. But finding these isn't the end. We need to do more observations to see if the planet is livable and if there are any signs of life. 
Another key tool is comparative indicator spectroscopy, which the telescope uses to help find life. By comparing light data from different planets, scientists can figure out if there might be life out there. What do you think about all this? Leave a comment below, and if you like the video, please like and subscribe. See you in the next one. The James Webb Space Telescope can spot compounds in the air around exoplanets that are linked to life. This is a huge step forward in finding aliens. The telescope is packed with tech that lets it see distant planets in great detail. Scientists are checking out the data and making new finds about the chance of life on other planets. The telescope lets us see the earliest parts of the universe by catching light from galaxies that were made billions of years ago. The telescope gives us a chance to learn about how the universe changed. These observations give us insights into how stars, planets, and galaxies were born and how the universe works. Besides looking for life, the James Webb Space Telescope is helping us understand space in general. It can take detailed pictures of distant galaxies, stars, and other things in space, helping scientists piece together the story of the universe. With each find, the telescope challenges what we think about space, opening up space trips and helping us understand what's out there. Looking ahead, the telescope will keep helping us explore the unknown. The finds it makes could change how we see the universe and where space trips go. As we go further into space in search of life, the James Webb Space Telescope will lead the way. In short, the James Webb Space Telescope is a game changer for space trips. It can see distant galaxies, find exoplanets, and search for signs of life, marking a big step in understanding the universe. With strong tools and cool capabilities, the telescope will change how we study space and reveal the secrets of the cosmos. The James Webb Space Telescope can check out the air around exoplanets, which is really exciting because it lets scientists search for signs of life on other planets. The telescope's tools let us see planets and their air with really good clarity. By finding key compounds that could mean life is there, like oxygen, methane, and water, the telescope is a tool for understanding if other planets could support life. These capabilities go beyond just seeing things. The telescope's tech lets us compare planets to Earth, helping researchers see how planets with similar features could have life. Through spectroscopy, the telescope can break down light from distant stars and planets, giving scientists a look at what these worlds are made of. This is important for seeing if exoplanets could have environments that could support life and opens up new ways to explore where life could exist in the universe. The telescope can also focus on the infrared spectrum, which lets it spot hidden objects like stars being made in dust clouds or planets being made. These areas are often hidden from regular telescopes that use visible light, but the telescope's infrared skills let it see through this cosmic dust and find details that would otherwise be hidden. These observations help us understand how things are born and change in space, letting scientists study what makes the universe what it is. The telescope can also see in both near and mid-infrared ranges, which opens up new ways to study the life cycles of stars and how galaxies are made. Its tools are designed to study the light from galaxies, stars, and other things in space, letting researchers study what they're made of, how old they are, and how they're put together. This will help scientists see how galaxies change, how stars are born and die, and how planets are made. Another cool thing about the James Webb Space Telescope is that it can show us the early parts of the universe by studying light from the first galaxies that were made after the Big Bang. Scientists can learn about where the universe came from. This is important because it can help us see how the universe has changed over billions of years and how it keeps changing. The telescope's tools let it look further back in time than ever before, catching light from galaxies that were made billions of years ago, giving us a look at the start of the universe. The data from the James Webb Space Telescope will change space trips a lot. As scientists keep studying the info from stars, galaxies, and exoplanets, they will make finds that challenge what we know about the universe. These finds may change how we see our place in space, opening up new questions and chances for exploring space. The telescope is a big step forward in exploring the universe and answering some big questions. People have always wondered if we're alone in the universe. We've spent ages looking at the stars, thinking about other life out there. Well, guess what? It might not be just a thought anymore. NASA's head honcho just said the James Webb Space Telescope found something amazing. This telescope is our best tool for checking out space, and it seems it has found life on a planet called Proxima b.
Seriously, this could change everything. Let's get into what the telescope found and what it means for us in space exploration. The James Webb Space Telescope is a super cool piece of tech that can really change how we see the universe. It's got fancy stuff that lets scientists look at faraway stars, galaxies, and planets like never before, giving us a totally fresh view of space. And trust me, this tech lives up to the hype. One big deal about this telescope is its 6.5-meter mirror. It's way bigger than the one on the Hubble Space Telescope, which has been doing space research for like 30 years. This huge mirror lets the telescope grab even the dimmest light from way out in space. Spots other telescopes just couldn't see before. Before, scientists could only guess what was out there. Now, thanks to this telescope, they can actually see it in crazy detail. Besides the mirror, the telescope has all sorts of tools for spotting different kinds of light. There's this thing called the Near-Infrared Camera and IR Cam that takes pictures using near-infrared light. That's important because that infrared light can get through those dust clouds that block regular light. It lets scientists look deeper into space. With its high-resolution capability, NIR Cam lets astronomers see exactly how stars form in galaxies. There's also the Near-Infrared Spectrograph, NIR Spec. It splits light from faraway stuff in space into bands. By doing this, scientists can figure out things like how hot something is, how fast it's moving, and what it's made of. This helps us study stars and galaxies, figure out what they're made of, and understand how they work. One of the web's most important jobs is to check out faraway galaxies. By looking at the light from these galaxies, scientists can tell how old they are, what they're made of, and other important stuff. Then there's the mid-infrared instrument, MIRI. It studies longer wavelengths of infrared light. It helps us observe things like stars, planetary systems, and those dusty spots where new stars are being made. MIRI helps astronomers check out the atmospheres of exoplanets, giving info about what they're made of, how hot they are, and if they could have life. Those spots where stars are born are really interesting. They're full of dust and gas that block regular light but let infrared light through. With MIRI, scientists can watch stars and planets come to be. MIRI is also key for finding exoplanets because it can grab and study the weak infrared light from their atmospheres, which can tell us if there's water vapor, carbon dioxide, or other stuff that could mean life. When looking for life on exoplanets, the Webb Telescope uses a couple of main ways. Checking out light and studying atmospheres. Even if a planet doesn't have plants or oxygen, these ways are still important. Spectroscopy, or studying how light is absorbed or given off by something, is a big part of looking at exoplanet atmospheres. When an exoplanet goes in front of its star, the telescope can see the starlight passing through the exoplanet's atmosphere. This leaves behind chemical signs that scientists can study to figure out what's in the atmosphere. The telescope uses MIRI and NIR spec for this. They cover a wide range of light needed for a good look. During this, the starlight has info about the planet's chemicals. The Webb Telescope looks at this to figure out what kinds of stuff are in the atmosphere. One of the main goals is to find biomarkers, which are things linked to life like oxygen, methane, and water vapor. But finding these things is just a start. More looking is needed to know if the planet is livable and if there are any signs of life. Also, the Webb Telescope uses something called comparative indicator spectroscopy to better look for life. By looking at light data from different planets, scientists can figure out the odds of there being life somewhere else. So, what do you think about all this? Leave a comment below, and if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. See you next time. The James Webb Space Telescope finding biomarkers in exoplanet atmospheres is a huge step in looking for life outside of Earth. Can see faraway planets in crazy detail. Scientists keep looking at the data and finding new stuff about the odds of life on other planets. The telescope can also look back in time by seeing light from galaxies that formed ages ago. This helps us learn about how the universe grew. It also gives us a better idea of how stars, planets, and galaxies were born and how the universe works. Besides looking for life, the James Webb Space Telescope is helping us learn more about space in general. It takes detailed pictures of galaxies, stars, and other space stuff, which helps scientists put together the history of the universe. It keeps changing what we think we know about space and making us rethink space exploration and what's out there. As we look ahead, the telescope will stay a key tool for exploring.
the stuff it finds could really change how we see the universe and the future of space travel. As we go deeper into space and look for life, this telescope will surely lead the way. Basically, the James Webb Space Telescope is starting a new chapter in space exploration. It's helping us watch galaxies, spot exoplanets, and look for signs of life. With its tools and skills, it's set to shake up how we study space and discover the secrets of the universe. The James Webb Space Telescope being able to look at exoplanet atmospheres is one of its coolest things. It lets scientists look for small signs of life on faraway planets. Its tools let us observe planets and their atmospheres like never before. By finding things like oxygen, methane, and water vapor, the telescope becomes a key part in figuring out if other planets can have life. It goes beyond just seeing stuff. It lets us make big comparisons with Earth so researchers can see how planets with similar stuff could hold life. By looking at light, the telescope can get a look at the chemicals on these planets. This is huge for knowing if exoplanets can have living environments. The telescope's ability to focus on infrared light also lets it see hidden stuff like stars forming in dust clouds or planets growing. These areas are often hidden from normal telescopes. Also, the James Webb Space Telescope being able to see near and mid-infrared light opens up new ways to study how stars live and how galaxies form. It's set up to study light from galaxies and cosmic objects, so experts can look at their chemicals, age, and build. This will all help in understanding how galaxies grow, how stars die, and how planets all come together. Another cool thing about the James Webb Space Telescope, it might show the early parts of the universe by watching light from the first galaxies after the Big Bang. Scientists can understand how the cosmos all began. This also helps us see how the universe changes over millions of years. We'll keep looking at info from stars, galaxies, and exoplanets. They can then make big changes to what we think we know about the universe.